Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. It's late December 2023, and we now have loft bombing in the F-15E for unguided conventional and cluster munitions. So we're going to max it out with 15 slick Mark 82 500 pound bombs. We're starting about eight miles from a target, and it's a bunch of APCs. So, pause. Obvious stuff. Master arm on. Air to ground master mode on. Right screen. Main menu. Armament menu. Air to ground pack screen. I'm going to drop all 15 bombs. So, select all five stations. Applied to the default program one. For lofting, we have to be in auto delivery mode. So, auto. I'm going to drop all 15 bombs in a ripple single and I'm going to drop 15 with a spacing of, I don't know, 10 feet between each bomb. Fusing, nose tail. Currently, the loft angle associated with this program is zero degrees. So, air to ground delivery, program page. We can type in using the scratch pad the loft angle between zero and 45 degrees. We've got to loft it over this mountain to make a challenge, so we're going to go all the way up to 45 degrees. 40 Five, enter. At the time of making this video, at least, we do not need to press the enter button down here to accept the change. Right, next, we need to create a target point. So let's just convert steer point one, which is on the target, to target point one dot. So steer point one, scratch pad one dot, steer point one. We now need to select target point one dot. So menu. Scratch pad one dot click there with those two steps. We've now converted steer point one to target point one dot there. So we have our auto azimuth steering line here. We must fly so that our velocity vector is always on that line until the bombs are released. Target data block we have target one dot, which is 7.6 nautical miles away. At current flight parameters, we will reach the point where we must start pulling up for the loft in 30 seconds. And we're on auto delivery mode. So let's unpause. Once we are five seconds away from our pull up point, we'll get extra symbology and I'll try and pause it there. Pause. We now have this horizontal line. This horizontal line is our elevation steering line. So in five seconds time, it will start rising up the azimuth steering line. Our job at that point is to press and hold the weapon release button and do not release that button until all bombs have dropped and maneuver so that our velocity vector here always follows the azimuth steering line here and the elevation steering line here. It's very hard to keep perfectly to the elevation steering line because it's moving. But it's important to follow it as best you can and follow the azimuth steering line well. And pause. Okay, I'm actually going to slow time down here. It'll be slightly easier. Push and hold weapon release. Wait for the line to go up. Up it goes. We're on half time now. Follow it as best we can. A new line. We're, I'm going to pause it again. Pause. We can now see the small horizontal line has appeared here the timing cue. This will drop down the azimuth steering line and the bombs will start releasing when it reaches the velocity vector, which if I've done my job right will be on the azimuth steering line and the elevation steering line. As you can see, I haven't quite got it right, so I need a bit more of a pull. And unpause. Real close. Bombs have started deploying. And that's it. 31 seconds to impact. Follow bombs. Woo! and one to one time and theoretically that should be it it doesn't yet work for guided weapons it's just for non-guided weapons including cluster bombs at the moment boof yeah, not bad. As you can see, I was slightly right of the azimuth steering line, but that's about realistically as accurate as you're going to get from a non-guided loft. I hope that was useful and bye-bye.